What do people love and what do people hate about living in Hillsboro, Oregon? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of living in Hillsboro, and all that starts now. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paul Clem with the Home Team Brokers coming to you from Hillsboro, Oregon today. And if this is your first time to the channel living in Oregon and you wanna get more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. We've helped so many people relocate to Oregon, move to the Portland area, and as real estate professionals, we love to help with that process. So if that's you, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video and schedule a Zoom call with us. Either way, we would love to help with your move to the Portland area. All right, so maybe you're moving to the Portland area, you're looking at different suburbs, you're looking at different areas that are going to suit you and fit your lifestyle. Well, Hillsboro is an area that we get asked about a ton, super popular area to live because it really has a ton to offer. And it's a really big area connected to the Portland metro area with easy access to a lot of great things around here. So in this video, we're going to talk about the pros and the cons of living here. There's definitely some good things that people say about it. There's definitely some bad things that people say about it. And a lot of this, of course, comes down to personal preference. Um, and again, you know, what types of things you're into, what types of things you would be looking for in a, a neighborhood, in a town, in a suburb, etc. So this video is really intended to give you a clear picture as to whether or not you could envision yourself living in Hillsboro, kind of through the lens of the good and the bad things that people have to say about it. So we're gonna get started by talking about the pros, and then we're gonna talk about the cons, so stick around to the end. And number one on the list for living in Hillsboro, Oregon is the jobs. Hillsboro is known as the Silicon Forest, so as maybe you've been doing a little bit of research, or if this is an area in particular that lo you're looking at because you're relocating to the Portland area for a job specifically that maybe you got in Hillsboro, of course this is something that you already know about, uh, but there are a ton of jobs in the tech sector in particular here both in hardware and in software most notably with intel and other semiconductor manufacturers chip manufacturers but you also have a ton of software you know you have companies like salesforce here you have medical technology companies like genentech for example you have adobe you have nvidia you have oracle there are a ton of businesses a ton of really big companies here that are either headquartered here um, have regional headquarters or have offices in in some capacity. So Hillsboro is an area that if you are looking to live here, there's a very good chance that you're relocating to the area, moving into the area because of a job that you've already received. Now, maybe one person in the household has gotten a job in Hillsboro already. The other person has to look for jobs. So again, there are a ton of employers in Hillsboro. There's also a ton of employers in the surrounding areas, in particular Beaverton, just to the east. You have Nike, you have Columbia Sportswear, you have a lot of tech companies, um, uh, hard, again, hard hardware, software in Beaverton as well. So there are job opportunities in the in the immediate surrounding area as well. Again, also, of course, extending into Portland and other parts of the metro area. So there's not really going to be a shortage of opportunities. I think if you look at a lot of the industries that are here, a lot of the type of jobs that are here, these are relatively high paying jobs. Um, so that definitely helps this local economy as well, you know, and, and Hillsboro's growing like crazy. That's something that we're gonna talk about. Um, now, I don't know if the companies that are here offer the best, most competitive salaries and wages for these particular roles. But again, regardless, you have a ton of employers, a ton of employment opportunity, uh, but not just in tech, of course, you know, there's a lot of manufacturing. You also have all of the jobs that support the local infrastructure, um, like social work, like education, uh, you know, firefighters, p uh, police, all of that stuff. So there are a lot of opportunities, again, in Hillsboro, making it a big reason why people move here. All right, next on the list for pros for Hillsboro is it's a very walkable place. And that's not something you're going to hear everywhere. Now, I, of course, when I do these videos, I'm doing a lot of research, I'm seeing what other people have to say, and then I'm giving you my own impression, you know, as to both what I hear elsewhere and uh, kind of how I see things around this area. Um, Hillsboro's a very sprawled place 
place. You know, it's it's very suburban in a lot of ways. It has a lot of different makeups as far as, you know, old and new, new development, older areas. We'll talk about all of that. But Hillsborough itself, again, you're not going to necessarily hear that it's a quote unquote walkable area because there's not gonna be a ton of places that you can live where you can walk out your front door, walk down to a coffee shop, you know, walk to some shops, restaurants, things like that. That doesn't necessarily exist like that doesn't exist in many suburban areas, but you do have downtown Hillsboro, which is a cool old town area. You have the Aranco Station area, which has a lot of apartments and townhomes. It's more dense, it feels more urban. That's a really cool area. But I think overall, bigger picture, we're in the Tualatin Valley. So a valley, right, is going to be a pretty level, pretty flat area. You also have a lot of newer development in Hillsboro because this is an area that's a little bit further out from the city center when you look at Portland. So the newer the developments, the better the amenities are going to be. You're gonna have more sidewalks and walking trails. There, there's a ton of great parks, uh, like the one I'm at today, uh, Rude Bridge Park, that have ton of walking trails, nice paved walking trails, and there's a lot of parks like this throughout Hillsboro. In fact, there's over 30 parks within Hillsboro city limits. So there's big parks, small parks, everything in between. Really, anywhere you're going to live in Hillsboro, you're going to have access to a ton of great parks. Some you can walk to, some you might have to drive to, yes, uh, but then you can get out and walk around. So point being, and in particular, when you look at the Portland metro area, there's so much elevation change throughout the Portland metro area. There's so many areas that have high elevation and kind of rolling hills, um, you know, peaks and valleys and things like that, where it's not necessarily as walkable or you're going to be huffing and puffing everywhere you go whereas again if you look at hillsboro and how it's laid out it's it's very flat compared to other areas uh of the portland metro area and that you know and because of that it's going to be really easy to get out go for a walk get out and explore all right next on the list for the pros of hillsboro is you're going to have options here so this historically you know hillsboro was a small town way out west of portland you know about 15 20 miles um and the the small old town itself the downtown area feels like small town usa so in that area you're going to get you know 80 100 year old homes old historic homes um, there's not a, a huge volume of that necessarily but that's certainly something you can get kind of that old town charm and properties and homes that have that charm of the era from when Hillsboro was this small town now of course there was development over the years you get into some mid-century so there's plenty of development that happened in the 50s and 60s into the 70s. Um, as Hillsboro continued to grow, you do have some development, you know, from the 80s and 90s, early 2000s, but in particular in the last 25, 30 years, um, as this area has grown into, uh, especially the tech hub that it's become, a lot of jobs coming into the area, there has been a development boom. And this is an area where you're going to find a larger volume of new construction than just about anywhere else in the Portland metro area. You know, areas like Happy Valley come to mind, for example, anywhere that's bordering the urban growth boundary, which, you know, the Portland metro area has a very strict urban growth boundary that's uh, evaluated every six years on a 20 year projection based on growth and things like that. Hillsboro is an, an area that, again, with all these jobs that are here now, all the businesses that are still starting and coming into the area, creating those job opportunities, you know, they're looking at housing and there is a definite shortage. So, you know, they are opening up these areas uh, in and around Hillsboro, in particular to the west and to the south, where they're opening up that urban growth boundary and you're getting a high volume of new construction. Most notably, you have this Reeds Crossing area just to kind of to the west, southwest of Hillsboro, uh, where I believe the plan uh, has been to build 11,000 units and that is well underway. There are people moving in, there's homes now being sold. That area is still developing, but you drive through there, it's incredible, it's beautiful. The parks, the walking trails, I mean, it is a really nice place, um, you know, objectively, just because it's so new, you know, it really has a shine to it. Not everybody's looking for new construction necessarily, but there are benefits with new construction. If you're looking for that, you know, Reeds Crossing and other areas of Hillsboro, you're gonna find homes that are either brand new, five years old, 10 years old, 
And again, you can get that at a relatively high volume. So point being there is in Hillsboro, you're going to get a ton of options for the style of neighborhood, the age of homes, uh, different amenities that you wanna be near. And I mean, Hillsboro is over 25 square miles. So, you know, you can be in one part of town uh, one day, be in another part of town the next day, and, you know, feel like you're in completely different areas, you know, and, and really be in areas that have a completely different feel. So if Hillsboro Hillsboro is an area that you have on the radar because of employment in the area uh, and you're moving here for that reason or you want to be a little bit further away from the city and being a little bit more removed from Portland if you want to be in more of a suburban area Hillsboro is going to have a ton of different options as far as the type and style of living that you can get all right so next on the list of pros for Hillsboro is the access and when you look at Hillsboro on a map again you're all the way out west on that urban growth boundary as far west as you can get in the Portland metro area. So yes, you are a little bit further from downtown Portland and Portland proper. We're gonna talk about that. But the access to pretty much everything you need is right here. We talked about the parks, over 30 phenomenal parks uh, right in Hillsborough city limits. You also have access to neighboring Beaverton uh, just, to the, uh, just to the east. So, you know, Beaverton has a lot of great restaurants, more great parks, different areas uh, that you can go hang out and, you know, go shop shopping, different shopping centers, things like that. You have Tannisbourne, uh, which is an unincorporated area, although it's more so considered to be Hillsboro, but it's right in between Beaverton and Hillsboro. And it's this big open air shopping mall. There's restaurants in the area. Um, it's an area that's really grown up and been built up uh, over the past couple of decades. Uh, but grocery stores, I mean, you have everything that you would need, a ton of options as far as grocery stores go. Um, and also, you know, extending a little bit beyond as far as your access to, you know, things out west, if you look at like wine country, which really kind of starts in Hillsboro, a little bit west of Hillsboro, and extends all the way south, you know, really on this kind of western area, kind of west of I-5, east of the coastal range, um, you know, from from north up in kind of the North Plains into Hillsboro area, all the way down through the Tualatin Valley, down through the Willamette Valley, um, there are several dozens, maybe even hundreds of wineries uh, and vineyards, which is a really popular thing to do and I think people who live in this area really enjoy the access to the wineries um, but you also have of course the Oregon coast you know you hear a lot that Portland is about an hour and a half to the Oregon coast. And, you know, that would be really from kind of a, a center point right in the middle of the metro area, right in downtown Portland. Depending on traffic, you can get out to the coast in 90 minutes, no problem. Well, if you're out in Hillsboro, you can get out to like Seaside, Cannon Beach, you can get out to that area in about an hour. Um, and you can still get up to Astoria in about 90 minutes. You can get further south into like Manzanita. So there's a ton of great access to the Oregon coast just out west, out Highway 26, or you can take Highway 26 west and then take Highway 6 down to like the Tillamook area. People love going to the Tillamook Creamery, the cheese factory. Um, it's a really fun thing to do, especially in the warmer months. So uh, the access to nature, you know, in the immediate area, the access to some areas of the Portland metro area, like Beaverton in particular, um, is really great. Um, the access to, again, all of the things that you would need in your day-to-day -day life, uh, amenities, shopping, groceries, all of that is right here, here in Hillsboro. I think that it's not necessarily a misnomer that Hillsboro is considered to be far away, uh, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that you're removed from a lot of great things to do and a lot of, you know, uh, the things that you would need, again, in your day-to-day -day life. Okay, so what's wrong with Hillsboro? Well, let's talk about the cons. These are things that, you know, you're gonna read online. I think you're gonna hear from a lot of people. Um, there's a lot of subjectivity here, right? So everybody has their opinion, everybody has their preferences. And uh, generally when I go through cons like this, when we talk about an area, there's always gonna be a little bit of a positive spin, right? So, you know, <laughs> that's just my, my uh, instinct is to, you know, take a look at, okay, what are some of the criticisms? What are some of the things that people don't like? But what may, what may make it not quite as bad as you may hear or 
read online, for example. Sorry, I just had to take a pause because uh, there was an airplane flying overhead that was pretty loud. And uh, yeah, maybe you could say a con is that there is an airport here in Hillsboro and you're gonna get some, some air traffic. You're gonna see, well, really hear some planes and maybe that's loud, maybe it's not. Probably depends on where your house sits, but it's actually not uh, a commercial airport um, uh, to my knowledge. I know there's like a flight school there uh, and you have private jets coming in and out of there. Uh, but you're not, not going to have to worry about that too much. And if you are looking for air travel or, you know, if you're going to be flying places a lot and you're going to be moving to Hillsboro, well, you're probably going to have to go to PDX to the Portland airport, uh, which really is probably going to be about an hour away um, if you're up against any kind of traffic. You know, maybe you can get there in 45 minutes, uh, but it is a little bit far from the airport. And that's actually truly my uh, first con on the list is that Hillsboro is far. I mean, there's really no way around it. If you look at the entirety of the Portland metro area and if you look at this in the context of the center point being Portland proper downtown Portland all the great cool hip areas and neighborhoods in Portland that people like to go to and hang out the sporting events the concerts all of that stuff that's in Portland you know being out in Hillsboro you are pretty far uh, so anything you know getting to the east anything getting to the south it's not going to be super convenient to the north as well. I mean, you, you don't really have much going on north except, you know, some rural areas out west. Obviously, you can get to the coast. And again, I think, you know, the access for that here living in Hillsboro is uh, better than anywhere else you would live in the Portland metro area. But if you want to get south, I mean, there's Interstate 5 that runs north, south, north to south. Um, you're really going to have to wind through some backcountry roads um, and, and highways uh, to get true south and then you're going to link up with like a, you know, a Sherwood or into Wilsonville and then hit I-5 at that point, uh, you know, where if you want to get further south, if you're going to Salem, Corvallis, Eugene, whatever it may be, uh, you know, you're going to have to work to kind of you know, get onto the main interstate. You know, similarly, uh, Highway 26 has some of the worst traffic in the Portland metro area. Highway 26 runs east-west. Uh, on the west side, it's uh, it's the Sunset Highway. So it connects this Hillsboro Beaverton corridor, this Tualatin Valley area. Uh, you know, goes right into downtown Portland. And so, you know, uh, going east, um, especially in the morning, coming back out west, especially in the evening, um, you know, you're in for a pretty long drive anyway um, because uh, you know of the distance. Uh, but you know, when there's traffic in particular, you could be adding 30, 45 minutes to your commute um, or just getting out, you know, to and from these areas. So yes, Hillsboro is far away. Again, you're kind of on this outer edge of the growth boundary as far west as you can get. Is that a big enough deterrent, uh, deterrent to not live here? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on the person. It depends on what you want to do in your day to day. It depends on what types of things you want to see, what types of activities you want to engage in. Um, and again, I think some people like the fact that you're a little bit further out. You are a little bit removed from the urban center in the Portland metro area. It is a little more laid back. It is much more suburban. So again, you know, could be a pro, could be a con, but that is something we hear a lot as a criticism of Hillsboro is that it's pretty far away. All right, next on the list of cons, uh, and again, you know, kind of you, you can see some good and bad here, but this is an area that is growing fast. It's rapidly developing. You could buy a house, live in an area where, you know, it's a nice quiet street, but maybe there's some vacant land at the end of the street. Maybe there's some vacant lots on the street. There's a pretty good chance that those, you know, lots, that land is going to be developed sooner than later. So, you know, you're gonna be seeing a lot of construction. You're gonna be seeing like road work, you know, uh, building in infrastructure to support this growing uh, economy and, and this area growing overall. And so, you know, that can lead to congestion, that can lead to noise, that can lead to extra busyness, extra fuss that you didn't necessarily sign up for. And I think another thing too, and something that you'll hear a lot from people who were born and raised in Hillsboro or people who've been here for 15, 20, 25, 30 years is that it's just not the same as it was when they moved here. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gotten worse. Um, you know, again, everybody's opinion is going to be different, but 
if you're relocating, especially from out of state where you haven't spent a ton of time, you know, in any of these areas in the Portland metro area, and you're really looking for an area where you can put down roots, feel comfortable, and, you know, be able to reasonably expect, um, you know, kind of how things are going to look in your immediate, uh, you know, near and kind of far off future, um, moving into an area that is rapidly growing, rapidly developing, you know, under these constant transformations and changes, you know, it's safe to assume that even five years from now, 10 years from now, Hillsboro is going to look a lot different overall. So, um, you know, if you're not, if you're somebody who doesn't like surprises, if you want a little more predictability as far as where you're living and what it's going to be like in the future, um, some of that could be in question moving to Hillsboro for sure. All right, next on the list of cons is Hillsboro is boring. Well, maybe it's not boring to you, maybe it's not boring to the people who live here, but I think a lot of people may consider Hillsboro to be a quote unquote boring area because, you know, there's no nightlife, there's no, uh, you know, bar or restaurant scene where people are going out every weekend. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of lacks this like vibrant social scene for sure. Um, you know, Portland, um, and even a lot of the metro area, very well known for its restaurants, its culinary scene, that's gonna be a little bit lacking out here. So, um, you know, again, it depends person to person, kind of, you know, what you wanna be doing and what you do uh, in your spare time and your free time for fun and for entertainment, obviously. So, you know, there's a lot of great nature. You got the wineries, you got the coast. Um, there are a lot of kind of small town activities uh, in downtown H Hillsboro. You know, you got like a 4th of July parade you got farmers markets. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of things that you can get out and do for sure. Uh, but if you're moving from, you know, San Francisco and you live in the city um, or any other city, LA, Seattle, wh whatever it is, and you're used to a certain type of lifestyle, moving out to Hillsboro in particular is going to be a little bit of a uh, kind of a culture shock probably to some degree. Now, if you're moving from, you know, a suburb that's, you know, 10 miles, 15 miles outside of Denver, outside of Salt Lake City, outside of Seattle, whatever it is, um, you're probably going to be a little more acclimated and kind of accustomed to uh, the type of lifestyle that you're going to get in Hillsboro. But I think it's an important distinction to know, you know, if you're moving to Portland and you're trying to figure out where to live, and there's certain things that you wanna have quick and easy access to, there's definitely, in particular, some of those kind of urban elements, you know, dense bar and restaurant districts, for example, you know, really great shopping, you know, that you're just not necessarily going to get as nearly at as high a volume in an area like Hillsboro. Um, now, there really is more of a small town feel in Hillsboro, really as much as there is a suburban feel in a lot of ways. And I think that's pretty cool. I, you know, I, to me, I think that's um, part of what attracts people to Hillsboro. It's what pe a lot of people like about living here, you know, where you have this small town feel, this small town element um, where, you know, people kind of look out for their neighbors and there's, you know, these events that happen throughout the year um, and there's these great parks and youth leagues and you know libraries and you know things that you can uh, uh, get involved with and, and engage with um, you know that you might ha not have in more of an urban setting um, or it just might be a completely different dynamic, you know, than where you're coming from or potentially what you're looking for. And so that's why I say, you know, Hillsboro at the very least could be considered a little bit of a boring place to live. There is a rich history here for sure, but it's been so developed in the last 50 years that probably feels a little bit stale outside of that downtown area. But again, you have like this Aranco station area that feels a little more dense, feels a little more urban. You have like the streets of Tannisbourne, which has some great shopping, you know, this big open air mall. Um, and then again, the downtown Hillsboro area, you know, you have kind of a larger um, commercial district with restaurants and breweries and things like that. You know, so that one obviously for you is going to be a judgment call, but it is another big criticism that we hear about Hillsboro. Okay, in that same breath and the last con to talk about on this list, you know, kind of echoing a lot of things that I've already talked about, especially that it might be a little bit more of a boring place, you know, that uh, you're far away, you know, especially from Portland is just overall the lack of entertainment. Um, and so again, that's not necessarily lack of things to do. There's a ton to do in Hillsboro, especially getting outdoors, going for a walk, going to the parks. Um, you know, it's a great place for families. It's safe. You know, there, there's, there's so many benefits about Hillsboro that I think people enjoy, but you know, th that entertainment piece, what I'm really speaking to is, you know, there's, there's not like a ton of music venues here. Um, you're not going to see a ton of professional sports like you would living closer to Portland. There are the Hillsboro hops though. 
you know, that I should mention, which, you know, is a farm team for, I think, the Arizona Diamondbacks, and they play right off Highway 26 in Hillsboro, so you can get go see some, you know, semi-pro uh, baseball, which is pretty cool. Um, you also have Top Golf, which I have to mention, which if you don't live in an area that has Top Golf, um, it's a lot of fun. It's like a uh, bowling alley is probably you know the best comparison and that you have your own bay you know you have your own lane like you would in uh, in a bowling alley um, and they bring you food and drinks and they have all the golf clubs there and there's games that you can play it's a ton of fun so Hillsboro does have top golf but you know if you are an avid sports fan maybe NBA basketball you know and you want to get out and see uh, the Trailblazers or the Portland Timbers which are MLS soccer you know the access for those things is not going to be great it's going to be uh, a lot of work you know and a lot of time in the car or on the max line which we do have the max line running out to Hillsboro um, that goes into the city into Portland which is nice and convenient there's just so much that I think you can get in more of an urban center in more of a large city like Portland that you cannot get in Hillsboro um, and I think you can maybe get some things at, at, a, at a much 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 smaller scale you know so there might be one one hundredth of you know the activities and quote-unquote entertainment activities things that you can do uh, in Hillsboro compared to Portland so um, are you so far out to where you can't get out to Portland and enjoy those things no not at all but if you live in Hillsboro you know you're talking about maybe a movie theater you know a, like I mentioned maybe get into the library uh, some bowling alleys you know we're talking about uh, there's a local theater company which is really cool um, but you know in Portland you have like Keller Auditorium the Schnitt um, you know, big plays, big traveling acts, you know, they're coming to these places, of course, a ton of music venues uh, in Portland compared to a Hillsboro. You have big, large scale seasonal events like the uh, like the Portland Rose Festival, you know, like the Brewers Fest, like the Bite of Portland, all the events that go on downtown on the waterfront uh, throughout the warmer months of the year. Um, you know, dozens and dozens of different bars that offer like trivia, you know, you can get trivia at several different places, you know, every night of the week again there's going to be some bars in Hillsboro that offer trivia but you know the options are much less and you know the access and the availability is going to be on a much much smaller scale so the trade-off is more of a laid-back suburban feel you know a little more room to breathe and access to the coast and access to all these great parks all these great natural areas that you have out in Hillsboro with much less access to activities, events, things that would be going on in Portland. Again, so a con, you know, take it or leave it. Maybe th those aren't things that you care about. Maybe those aren't things that you uh, necessarily uh, want to be doing uh, on a regular basis. Hey, you know, you might get down into Portland a few times a year. Great. You know, you're good with that. I love Hillsboro because of everything else that it offers. Um, you know, we hear that from a lot of people. I think that, again, there are a lot of elements of Hillsboro that make it very attractive and very desirable. But if you're coming in from out of state, if you're moving to Portland from out of the area and you really want to get a feel for the dynamics of these areas, how far you're going to be from certain things in certain places. That's why we make these videos. And if you're in that circumstance, if you're trying to look at areas of Portland and what areas you think are going to suit you best, really try to envision yourself in, in you know, the right area for you you got to give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video. And we can connect to talk about your timeline, your game plan, your wants, your needs, your vision for your next house and the perfect neighborhood, the perfect town and area for you and get you started on the right track. And if this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. Uh, if you want to get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.